40 seconds, Soyuz is switching to onboard power. Watch out for that big metallic tower being pulled away. Stop. There it goes. Marquage, largage, marquage et Our very best wishes to the teams. À tous de DDO, attention pour le début de la séquence d'allumage lanceur. Stop, H0-20 secondes. Stop, largage, ma VKM. Top, allumage, triétage. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, podium. Décollage, lift off, c'est parti. à mettre à bord son normaux. Les moteurs des premiers et deuxième étages fonctionnent normalement. And there she goes. Soyuz is pulling itself away from the gravitational pull of our planet. We are heading out east over the Atlantic Ocean. That's because it's more efficient for getting to our orbit. It saves on propellant. We're traveling in the same direction as the Earth's rotation. It's a little bit like a boat on the river going with the tide, going with the flow. If you think about it, Soyuz is already traveling in the right direction when it's on the pad because Earth is moving, we just can't feel it. So, we're burning five engines right now, but the boosters, those four there, are the ones that are doing all the work. Gravity makes us stick to our planet, but it also makes it incredibly difficult to get away, and that's why we need so much firepower. Take a look at the bottom of the screen, you can see there on the left is our altitude. At the moment, we're 29 kilometers above the Earth. He says that everything is nominal, everything is going according to plan. The distance is the distance on the ground. If you were to draw a straight line on the ground from the CSG and the speed there, we're traveling at 1.71 kilometers per second. So, our boosters have done their job, they're falling away back to Earth, we don't need them anymore, and we are shedding weight because they have burnt all their fuel. Look at those superb pictures. We, uh, those are images from the onboard cameras from the previous launch, and those boosters twisting as they are designed to do. He's telling us that everything on board is going according to plan, everything is normal. So we're burning the main core stage, that burns for just under five minutes. And a word about the confirmations of the major events in the flight. We're seeing key moments happening at the right time, but Le we get the... Du moteur du deuxième étage est nominal. Everything's nominal, but we get the actual confirmations of those milestones slightly later. That's perfectly normal. It takes little time for the information to get to the range, op range operations manager, and he will call out those confirmations when he gets them. Take a look at the top of the vehicle there, the front of the vehicle, the nose of the vehicle. That rounded section is called the fairing. The fairing is housing our satellites. They're actually inside it for anybody who's not familiar with how a launch vehicle works. And the fairing is protecting the satellites from the rigors of the launch. You can just imagine how loud it is when the launcher lifts off. De de du sont Those acoustic vibrations could be dangerous for the satellite if it wasn't protected, and that's what the fairing does. It's uh, all planned to protect and keep our satellites lovely and safe. The other thing is friction. The launcher is flying through the dense part of the atmosphere at very high speed. And we're now out of that dense part of the atmosphere because the fairing is falling away. We don't need it anymore and the satellites can be exposed to space. And we've had the, conf the confirmation there from the range operation.